this is the game that we did not play when we played Luca Nor. Uh, I had a coin flip that I did. The coin flip attacked me, and then we did Luca Nor. <laughs> By the way, we're mixed nerds. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> I'm Ben. Everybody else has names too. Let's see if they can say them. I'm Callie. I'm Laura. <laughs> and we're starting. Hey, you <laughs> already did that. You have a name. You have a name. Uh, Emily every... just does not like to say her name. You can't start every video like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to now. I'll just, like, get mad at Emily at the beginning. Oh, no. Okay. Is that a um, thing now? Okay, oh, oh, we got choices. Choices. Oh, okay. So, oh, voyage. so we're starting. Okay. We're actually starting now. Okay. Have you played this before? I played a little bit of it, but not enough to... I mean, I still consider it blind for me. Like, I just started okay. it. You're legally blind. That's what we'll call it. Like, you might um, be able to see something, but you can't see well enough to drive. Definitely. I mean, that's kind of what I... my screen looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I have a knot go. in my car. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you good? Okay, this is, this is our protagonist? Who's going to be so. lovely Rita, meter maid? Should I be our protagonist? You often are. Yeah, yeah, I think it was last yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. You look like me, but... I guess I'm female protagonists. Okay. <laughs> the great irony is, yes, this is true. Uh, okay, I've... I'll just come up with a voice for her then. Ugh. My brain feels like it went through a coffee grinder. It feels like I've been lying out here for hours. What is all of this crap on the beach? Wait, a plane crash? But I was... Oh no... Does this happen a lot with her? Alright, stay <laughs> calm, Rita. This is only the third time this week. <laughs> That's five less times than last week. That's my seat, good old 21C. I wonder if things would have gone differently if I was in a window seat. Might have had a better view. What the heck was a frying pan doing on a plane? That looks like a shovel. It kinda does. Really, it looks more like a pentagon on a stick. <laughs> if this is a different person? Someone else? I guess so. Who's Mr. or Mrs. or Ms. Green? <laughs> I mean, I can take it for now if nobody else did. They're closing in on us! I have to see my character before I can know what the voice is. Yeah. Or sometimes play him for several minutes and then <laughs> suddenly he's German. <laughs> I mean, that's a part of the process, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? What the heck was that? Sounded like a person with an undetermined voice. Let me see what else I can look at before going over there. I can't believe this is real. Yeesh. Good thing I wasn't in that seat. Rest in peace, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit gruesome. I should go check out that noise. I definitely misread that as I should go check out that nose, and I was very confused. I need to go check out that nose, oh yeah. <laughs> That's Cyrano de Bergerac over there, looks so attractive. No! We had to watch that in French class in high school, it's like burned into my memory. I, I never two I never have to see that actor it. again. <laughs> So I think we saw everything there was to see around here. Yep, probably. Don't escape. Oh dang, is that which one is me? Oh, it's fine. I guess Teddy. Well, if if I'm Teddy, then if my name is Teddy, I feel like I have to have a British accent because it's a very British kind of name. They're calling for backup. Unless you're Theodore Roosevelt. 
This is true. I just associate it with British people for some reason. Okay. Oh, that's the guy with the nose. And we don't get a name for him. We know who Teddy is somehow, but not this guy. He just has one of those Teddy faces. Yeah, you just named him. I think oh, that's what happened. Okay, so his name isn't actually Teddy, you just kind of assumed? Yeah, I mean, he's got one of those Teddy faces, like Ben said. Alright, so who wants to be this smoking, tie wearing, sideburn having dude? I'll be him. Okay. He looks like a beach bum. We're totally <laughs> surrounded. Make sure you aim for their eyes. It will scramble the chips in their brains. What? The crabs, it must be. It doesn't even matter, man. We're done for. Steve, somebody else is watching. You're approaching, sorry. I don't oh, know it's... What She's probably here to feast on us, just like these crabs. Um, why do you immediately <laughs> assume that? <laughs> yeah, cannibalism is the default assumption here, guys. Okay. Because we're holding this Pentagon frying pan thing? Yep. It'll say time. <laughs> what? Are you talking about me, Steve de Bergerac? <laughs> You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady. <laughs> <laughs> now might be a good time to help us out, man. I like your nose. Well, that's not an option. <laughs> we did find the nose, though. I, I'm proud of my <laughs> ability of foresight there. I I feel like we could ask just how did this even happen? Yeah, I mean, I like, like yeah. we just got off a plane crash, and now there's crabs everywhere. How did this even happen? Teddy, Teddy thought it would be a good idea to wander off to the beach. We do something ourselves, but we're afraid to make any sudden movements. Besides, all I have on me is a stupid stapler from my office. Well, at least you have oh. that. And he's smoking the stapler, so... <laughs> I've got my trusty metal detector on me, but they will definitely attack if I pull it out. He's... Turning a little bit beetlish. A little bit. I, I realized I was going more in the Irish direction on that, but but I'm I'm playing with things. I'll settle on something eventually. Just get over here and help me. Rude. What? No, come here. Well, I might as well try to put the frying pan to good use. Oh, which one? <laughs> oh. Because oh. I, I would say save me, but that's save just me. why I, I put him in. <laughs> oh no, but... But what about the nose that we have a crush on? Okay, we're, we have a crush on his nose, so that's a, that's a valid point. We don't care about the guy, just his nose. Maybe maybe try to scare <laughs> them? I don't want to have to kill these crabs. Yeah, they're I don't want to... Really yeah, I like how they're like waving their little hands. Like, I think that's supposed to be them trying to attack Ben, but... I know, but it's cute! <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! I love that! <laughs> Anti-crab noise! Whoa, you actually scared them away! <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, Guys! Uh, I just died? Oh. Uh, those things are fierce. Uh, better check on him. My legs are all torn up. This isn't good. Gee, thanks! Well, let's kick back to camp. The other is going to want to meet. Uh, didn't catch your name. That's strange, because I know all of your names. <laughs> it's... Rita. Wait, there are other survivors? Yeah, they're farther inland. I'm Steve, by the way. Oh, I know. My name is Teddy. I, I also know this. All right, dude, let's get going. I also happen to know what colors are best associated with you. <laughs> huh, you have an ellipsis. Are you ready to head to camp?
I don't know if there's much else here, but we could look around. Just give me a minute. I feel the need to compulsively explore everything. Fine, man, but try and make it quick. I don't want those crabs to come back. Everything! What are you doing? What if the crabs are waiting for you in there? I should know. all go! Ah! <laughs> They're probably better company than you. Oh. Relax, I'm just looking around. It'll be fine. <laughs> Whoa, there's metal and wreckage all over the beach. It's, I'm kind of glad I don't can't remember the crash. It must have been terrible. I wonder if I could build a wreckage castle. A <laughs> wreckage castle? I am the queen of all this junk. That would be great. I will make the crabs be my subjects. Yeah, none of these weird plants and twigs look edible. Even if they were, it doesn't look like they would taste very good. Maybe the crabs had the right idea of what to eat. <laughs> no, you don't know until you try. It could be really great. Yeah, it's a too of, orange. A lot of good things look disgusting. I don't like orange food. It's you a thing. You don't like carrots? Nope. Don't eat oranges either. What about orange M&Ms? Nope, I eat every other kind of M&M. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hazard, I guess. Sure, let's get going. Don't you think it's a little risky to take this stranger back? I mean, I lost my frying pan, so what harm can I do to you? What if she's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit? You were an only child, weren't you, Teddy? Oh, no! My brother was human! I think we'll be fine, man. Let's just go. I'm an only child. What's that have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know. Making some kind of a dig at you. Ooh. Oh. Emily, have you found yourself in this story? Um, I mean, I guess I'll have to be this guy. Cause, uh, gotten, gotten I, I love the person. Can I just say the person up there with the glasses and the, the lay is really calling to me? So if that person has any lines, I, I would be happy to take them. Okay. okay, what about the guy with the enormous mustache? I mean, he's great too, though. I don't know. We'll have to see what they sound like, I guess. They're all good. Okay. Get Look, this kind I... of like. What? I was gonna say, he looks a little bit like the haircut he's got reminds me of Ori from the Peter Jackson adaptation of The Hobbit. Do you remember the haircut they gave that guy for Ori? <laughs> Um, I like used to know weird all beard of... plus bowl cut. It's, it's not a good look. I used to know all of the names and appearances of the dwarves, but uh, it's been a while. Yeah, plus plus that franchise is a little bit of a letdown. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> look, another survivor. I could do that guy and give him a Scottish accent, or I could do the other person and give them a really weird voice. You guys pick. I don't care. I want to hear really weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then, then Laura, do you want to take this mustachioed fella? Absolutely. He looks intense. I want to be mustachioed. Oh man, I'm not very good with this either. What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to Betsy, come have a seat. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. You must have been out for hours. You are right. It's a very intense person. Do I really know anything? I don't know. I don't know anything. We could just say I don't know. I mean, do we know if we're all right? We haven't had any kind of a screen that would give us any indication of our health points, or... What do you guys think? I don't know. Is anyone ever really all right? <laughs> <laughs> Are we even real? What if we're just in some kind of computer simulation played by, like, super advanced aliens? Or a reality TV show. I don't know. I don't know anything. I mean, I don't know. I woke up on the ground. I think I was knocked out. Oh, honey, where were you? 
I think this is a woman now, um, but but I realize I've given her a very baritone voice. That's why I, I said mean... I love it. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's happening. I was interpreting that as a beard for some reason, but it's staying here forever now. So, she found us getting attacked by crabs on the beach. She let them eat my legs. Oh my, that's awful. Yeah. What's All your right. name? Rita. I'm Jolene. <laughs> the lump over there with the mustache. It's my husband, George. I'm George. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Online, I'm known as Nebulord90, but you can call me Garrett. Ooh. All he's been doing is playing games on a stupid handheld video machine. Hey, it's not stupid. It has a oh. name. Where are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. This island is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff could be on the other side. There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. So how do you know we're on an island if you have that, no idea what's on the other side? That's what I was just thinking. It's kind of like you're just assuming you're on an island. Well, I, I'm guessing just based on the lay that maybe they were expecting to go to some kind of tropical destination and they would have been flying over the Pacific Ocean or something when they died, assuming this is... Or not when the when the plane died, not when they died. They're fine. Uh, well, we hope, um, unless this is like surreal and stuff. Yeah, assuming that this is on Earth, but I don't know. Maybe but this is purgatory. They still don't know exactly where they are, so this is true. I don't know. We started making the best of this here situation. I got this fire built and we got started on some shelter. So far all we got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. But I gotta tell you, about half of them is mine. What is that thing? There's a pig. <laughs> cheese it. Louise and sweet cream cheese! Is it really oh. a pig? It ate our pretzels, and those pretzels are our only food. Is it really a pig, or is it a bunch of crabs in a pig suit? <laughs> <laughs> that was fairly sudden, I have to say. Oh man, those are going to be such a well-balanced meal for us. What if there are more of those, those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with George and me. Let's get this boy. Uh, I don't think that's the best idea. It's not like we have weapons to hunt them. My Georgie has his old fishing pole. He can whap them with that. And I suppose you're gonna throw that bulk camera of yours at them? Well... I'll do what needs to be done. We need to stay here and defend the few resources that we've got left. Come along, Georgie. We don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hood lambs. <laughs> Rita, you ready? Let's go. So why do you trust me if you don't trust the other ones? Apparently you are not one of the hood lambs. She didn't see you with your frying pan earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if going after the piggy is a good idea. I feel trepidation about that. I'm not ready. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm not I'm ready not, is probably good. I'm not ready for all this. I don't know anything. I'm just supposed to. I, I can't even remember the plane crash. What? I help. We choose it, game ends. <laughs> uh, oh. Whoa, hold on a second, I'm not ready for this. Oh, come on. 
Anybody else ready to get our fixings back? My Desert Island survival course wasn't supposed to start for another two months. I'm not much of a runner. By the way, I have to do a very intense face to get this this voice done. I, it, it keeps cracking me up. Like, if I could see what I looked like, I'm sure it'd be hilarious. I hope this doesn't mean she dies because we didn't help. I guess we'll see. Good grape gravy. You gotta be kidding me. Cowards. Let's go, George. I don't want her to die because then we wouldn't get that voice anymore. <laughs> Did you guys hear something just now? I don't think so, Teddy. You're just paranoid. I bet he gets that a lot. You've got food and a fire here. Could definitely attract some wildlife. Devil, man. No time to lose. We need a plan to defend our food. Okay. We can't afford to lose it. Uh, magic? How about I got this? I think I think <laughs> we, we should try to come up with a plan and get our frying pan out or something. We don't have the frying pan anymore, I don't think. Maybe... I don't know. What, what, what can we figure out? We, we could be scary again. We were scary before. Yeah, I'm so scary. Just listen to my scary voice. Plus, we would sound really cool if we said we got this. I got yeah. this, guys. Yeah. Okay, they're ready. Boo. We'll try to watch your back, then. I don't know how much it'll, uh, much use I'll be after the battle on the beach, but I'll do my best. Positions, everyone. Here they come. This is just like World of Warcraft. <laughs> I'll be fighting with this frying pan, which I had stashed under my hat, I guess? Somewhere. What have you guys got? Okay. Oh. oh no, wait. Oh, that's me, yeah. Well, I got the stapler, but hardly call that a weapon. Oh, I trust the metal detector can give a good beating. Haven't you ever heard of a staple gun? Stand your ground! Look out, Rita! Uh, ouch. Whack! Oh, he got... It. Ooh. What the heck was that, Garrett? I saw stars appearing over your head. I... I thought I could help. You fought off the ball. Looks like the other ones are leaving, too. Yay, we win! So... XP? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would call that a win, Garrett. We didn't quite level up. I wanted to protect you. Oh. I can oh, say well, thanks for trying, that's good. Yeah. Cute. Well, thanks for trying. <laughs> Garrett, that probably wasn't the right thing to do, but I appreciate the thought behind it. Solid answer. I thought I could do it. It was like my video games. Oh! oh. He was trying to do, like, the, the uh... The quick commands in like PlayStation games, we thought if you pressed X fast enough, he could just like make it all stop. Or like pressed circle in succession with square, triangle, yeah, X I'm, fast enough. I'm good at quick time events. Yeah. It's just like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet a second, I heard something. Throw something at it, man. Oh, they're coming. Back. No, no. That's no. fast. Just us. We could say, where's I the think, boar? Yeah, I'm, that's what I would suggest. Because we wanted no more things. Looks like you didn't end up catching the boar after all. If I had some help from y'all, maybe it would have gone differently. You're not making a great first impression, Jolene. On the contrary, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the answer, Jolene, you screwed up, but I don't know if that's the right thing for us to say. <laughs> I mean, it all depends on how you want to play this. If you want to play it straight or just, like, the wackiest <laughs> answers. <laughs> you done screwed up. 
Stop! I feel so fabulous. <laughs> but I want to be her friend. <laughs> you really want to be her friend, though? Okay. I want to be everybody's friend. That's just how if, I play if things. We want to be, if we want to be diplomatic, we should probably just say one of the first two. I uh, we need to stop. I mean, if we need to stop fighting, yeah, that would be a good leader answer, but if we want to kind of distract away, I'd say just, we should get some rest. I don't know. What do you think, Ben? I'll, I'll say stop fighting, I guess. Yeah. For now. We need to stop fighting. We can't fight each other like this. Maybe we should all just get some rest. <laughs> well, it was the second answer anyways. <laughs> I think this is going to be a long night. No, I think it's going to be a short night. Oh, right, no fighting. But I, I wonder if that if either of those choices would just go to the same dialogue there. <laughs> we need to protect these pretzels. We shouldn't just leave them out in the open. Two packets of airplane pretzels. <laughs> there, that should help. Anyway, we set up a bit of shelter early this morning. Rita, why don't you grab a torch from that fire and let's get some sleep? Um, uh, okay, I just... Fire. <laughs> I'm just seeing what else I can do and I can just, like, push everyone around. <laughs> push so much just, like, give them a little nudge. Yeah, just a friendly sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> can you push anyone into the fire? That would be uh, no. exciting. <laughs> I think we might be running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> this suitcase should keep our pretzels safe until we need them. I don't like doing things. Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. I guess this is our home for now, until we get rescued. This torch won't last forever. I should have enough time to talk to a few people. I think I know who Ben wants to talk to already. Who who do I want to talk to already? Jolene? Would, would yeah. that be a correct guess? She's pretty, but I kind of want to talk to all of them, but yeah. We have limited torch. Oh, well, let's start with Jolene. Okay. This is gonna be like the time George and I went camping on the beaches in South America. <laughs> that sounds like an adventure. Also, you're holding that torch just right in her face. <laughs> Incinerating her. <laughs> oh, the stories I could tell. We spent many nights together under the stars like this. Why don't you and George sleep next to each other? Oh, what an odd question to ask. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, it's okay, dear. He has his awful snoring habit. I can't sleep near him. Oh, I see. Sure has been a long day. Yeah. yeah, I kind of like the uh answer also. Me too. I just feel like she has an uh personality. Yeah. I think we all get the hang of it. This is definitely gonna be the most interesting vacation yet. Mm. That's a pretty lighthearted attitude considering our situation. Well, I was brought up to always look at the bright side, darling. Hoorah! I suppose that's a good thing, considering I'm currently holding the bright side in your face. <laughs> I'm blinded. Boy, I'm feeling hungry. Sure would have been nice if we could have roasted some of that boar. There has to be something easier than just hunting boars anyway. That's proven to be pretty dangerous. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Good night, dear. You need to eat your way. Get that light out of my face. No, okay, let's I'm talk trying to, the... to sleep over here. <laughs> let's talk to Game Guy. Yeah, I feel like the fact that he's bleeding out of his stomach might need to be addressed. 
I bet you've never been on an adventure like this before. Well, I mean, well, there was that time in, in uh, in Azeroth and, and um, oh, oh, you mean in the real world? <laughs> Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days, though it doesn't hold the torch to these past hours. That's right, I'm the one holding the torch. I can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. And, uh, we're, we're probably going to die out here. No extra lives or saved games to help us out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we should- No! No! We need to reassure him! Oh. What do you think, Laura? I kinda wanna tell him, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, let's go with yeah then, I guess. Okay. Roof decision. <laughs> if he's the first one to die off because of this, then I'll have no one to voice anymore. Uh oh. Yeah, you might be right. If only there were real life cheat codes we could use. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Man, it sure was crazy fighting off those boars. Those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in the games. That's why I oh, thought great. I could beat it. Great foreshadowing. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm actually a first level warrior. Yeah, that was pretty intense. I wish Jolene hadn't bailed. We're going to need to learn to stick together. I heard that, you hippie! <laughs> yeah, she's right there. <laughs> Passed out on her side. <laughs> she scares me. I heard that too! <laughs> Quit talking about me! Jolene seems to have pretty good ears. <laughs> pretty amazing. We're definitely going to need to learn to work without her hearing. This adventure's hard, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not even healing up yet. What's up with that? <laughs> well, time to, <laughs> oh, time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. Oh. This torch won't last for much longer. I could probably sneak in one more chat. Should I just talk to the nose I like? The nose yeah. of our dreams, I think, is a good option. <laughs> this nose? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That nose. Gotta check out that nose. He's still smoking. I don't think he'll <laughs> ever stop. Yeah. That's a long-lasting cigarette, then. <laughs> <laughs> he was specially formulated just for me, man. <laughs> Finding you on this beach was a surprise. We were pretty lucky you were there, I guess. Yeah, that was oddly disorienting to wake up to. I mean, it happened two times this week before, uh, but uh, <laughs> the other times it wasn't on an island. Yeah, Teddy was looking to find some supplies on the beach. All we found was those crabs. Uh, and me. Yeah, you might have been better off without this group. We don't bring a whole lot to the table. <laughs> oh. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I think a group uh, beats being alone. Yeah, a group beats being alone. I'm better off with a group than by myself, even if you're not exactly a bunch of survivalists. I'm not sure how far my BFA <laughs> barista skills would get me out here. If I hadn't met up with you guys, I might not even made it this far. Groups have never paid off in my experience. Oh, come on now. world isn't all that bad. It isn't all that good either, man. Well, hmm, at least your nose is perfect. Let's get <laughs> some rest. Thanks, man. Torch is too low. It's time for me to go to sleep. I doesn't look very comfortable, but I guess it'll serve for the night. Might as well try and get some set shut eye. It looks like we're about to set everyone on fire. Yeah, I, kind I hate of. to say that, but well, no, it didn't put out the campfire and just had that torch running throughout the night. Yeah. Well, we haven't killed anyone else yet. Or, we haven't killed anyone yet, so... Anyone else? Was she the one who anyone caused else? the crash in the first place? 
I don't know. Maybe Plot twist. maybe the flipped over seat that we were like, lucky I'm not that person was our first victim. Hey, I I had a whole bunch of stuff I don't remember. It could be hiding anything. Also, does anyone else see that there's like a giant slingshot behind us? What's the deal with that? Oh, I see it. <clears throat> yeah, but it's Oh, uh it I mean, it's the string is a V. It looks like it's not very slingshotty. I don't know, it's weird. I was trying to figure out what it was, but eh, let's go on jump- ahead. Start jumping into and throwing yourself at a boar in a <laughs> or just throw it, ditch. just throwing yourself into the fire. It's like I give up. <laughs> huh? Looks like we actually made it through the first night alive. Yay! You don't seem that excited about being alive. I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything today. <laughs> what? What do you mean? I mean, I wish you were awake when I woke up too. <laughs> All you did yesterday was make things more difficult by leaving us. Well, I'm gonna help y'all. You might need me. Fine, man. If you insist. I've got a headache already without having to argue with you. Maybe someone planted something in your brain while you were asleep. Which one of you was it? Speak up. I suspect Garrett. Huh? Why me? Alright, guys. I think I just need some coffee. Bad news for you, Steve. Caffeine withdrawal. I actually feel like I'm in college again. Stole everybody's coffee so that they'd go in withdrawal. It was fun. <laughs> Drinking something usually helps. Not salt water. I'm going to check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will end and I'll find some more cigarettes. Maybe you'll die. Who knows? Give me some water from the plane as well. Like plain water. What is plain water? Probably from the government, not safe. We need to signal for help if we ever plan on being saved. I think plain water is probably oil. I mean, they do often have drinks on the plane to yeah. serve to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like bottled gin- water and that yes. kind of thing. Ginger ale, nothing. I would either say explore crash site or uh, let's explore the crash site. I think These all sound be, important. Yeah. I think crash site is probably a good place to start, though. Should we just start with having a signal, though? Because that might be something we can at least have established and then... And I'm wondering, is the crash site basically just where we woke up anyway? This is true, but it might have different things. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think, Laura? Wait, does that mean a signal to signal other members of the group or to try to signal off the island? I would assume Unclear. signal off the island. Uh oh. But I don't know. Why don't we say it anyways? We'll figure it out what it is. The signal. Signal? Uh, I don't know. They all sound good. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, signal. I take forever to make decisions. And this is life and death, you guys. Teddy's right. We need a signal for passing planes and ships. Thank you. Maybe I'm not the only sane one here. Mm. I think maybe staying alive is a little more important. Well, then you guys can go look for drinkable water. What? Why us? Garrett ain't done nothing yet. Um. I, I, uh... Oh, stop whining. Won't be that hard to look around the island. This is not a solo task. There's no way I can get the quest reward alone. Take George with you. He's the best help you can find. Just go, Garrett. You'll be fine. Now I feel like I should have gone on that trip. (laughs) Alright. Do your thing then, guys.
How is anyone ever going to find us out here? I mean, we could just try yelling really loud. I really uh, don't think that's going to work, Rita. You haven't help. heard me try yelling really loud before. Help, <laughs> help, help. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. <laughs> this is my singing voice. All right, oh. lovely Rita, why don't we try something else? I was being, uh, never mind. Stop goofing around. We need to find a way to connect with the outside world. Hmm. What if we write something in the sand? Maybe we can get the attention of boats and planes. If we use driftwood to make a signal, it won't wash away as quickly with the tide. Should I go looking for driftwood? Yeah. You go search for wood and debris. I'll start cleaning up this area for us to write on. Okay, I think... Is that a wood oh over there? Oh my god, look at his eyes! He's like, very, like, intense! In the movies, I trees like these... contacts! <laughs> In the movies, trees like these would be full of coconuts or bananas or something. Turns out real life is much less forgiving. They're full of oranges. <laughs> Who would have thought? can't have oranges. Oh, you can actually, like, oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, but I can only carry one at a time. Well, probably take him back to Teddy, then. Yeah. Just drop any driftwood you find over here by me. Uh, got it. Okay. I wonder if this will affect our rating. Uh, rating? They're probably rating us on everything we do. I'm sure we're doing great, Teddy. I'm not sure if you're... Doing having... great? <laughs> what do you think they're testing you on? Honestly, Teddy, I have no idea what you're talking about, and I can't tell if you have a delusion or if I just can't remember anything because of amnesia. Well, what did you do before the incident? I was a barista at a coffee... No, I know what your cover story is. What did you really do? Well, whatever, Teddy. Mm, very intense face. <laughs> I, I kind of love Teddy's face when he does that, though. He's so funny looking. It's like he's trying to dust the ground with his hands. Ah! The landmine! Wait! No, no, that's, that's more sense. I can't figure out which survivor I like the most. They're all pretty fun. And if I had my phone on me, I'd totally insta-grab a picture of this beach. Well, I have to say, my guy reminds me a little bit of me. Because I also he's, play... He's pretty perfect. I, I also play a lot of games and have no survival skills. What did you do, Teddy? I used to work for the government, in the intelligence building. Confidential information was right under my nose every day. <laughs> so you think they're after you? That's, I like that's that. what I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you think they're after you? You think that's why they're after you? Of course that's why they're after me. I didn't get a job with them because I wanted to work for them. Why did you then? The sand as is, Rita. Let's just say it was a good place to get the information that I needed. Alright, well, uh, let's finish this SOS. Still not sure if there's something going on with you or if you just are delusional. He's had a rough, rough week, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody has. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I crashed, uh, Sock. Things. We should just spell sock. <laughs> yeah. How does the driftwood keep multiplying this way? Um, magic. Yeah. It, just ask Teddy. I'm sure he'll have a theory about it. Secret government driftwood. Yeah. Hey, I can look at a thing. Oh, what a cheap ass airline. They don't even have flotation devices under the seats. That sounds suspicious. I guess that's what I get for flying with dynas dysaster? Uh, 
of disaster. disaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I like it. What did you say? Disaster. Hey there, little guy. What have you got there, Rita? It's a disc. Must have fallen out of the plane. All alone and scared. That's the face of somebody who's been through some serious stuff. Maybe we should keep him. That way we can take care of each other. We should call him a uh, dis disky. You don't think it's like a, a a listening device or something? It looks a little bit like Pac-Man, actually. I'm yeah. I'm all in favor of keeping him. Yeah, disky. That's the best you can come up with. I don't see a name on him. We've got to come up with something. How do you know he identifies as a male? What if it? Maybe it's Disca. Whatever. I've got nothing. Let's finish up this SOS. What about that glass over this? Oh, that's just debris. Okay. Oh, just seeing get it. The suitcase. Hey, fish be in there. Watch out! I'm trying to get the suitcase. I bet there's a ton of lost cargo from the plane out there. Too bad it's mostly all waterlogged and ruined. Did you even check inside? Uh, I used my clairvoyance. Uh, could have had like a mini shampoo in there or something. A single container of mini shampoo was yes. added to your inventory. <laughs> I would love that. There we go. That should be sufficient. Looks good to me. I'm sure that planes will totally be able to see this small symbol from above. Maybe a ship will be able to find us now. Speaking of which, what's that light out there? What? Oh, I see it too. Uh, that's the sun. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's moving. That's because it moves very, very slowly. It must be an oil platform or something. Or, or the sun. It, it's really far away. <laughs> It's too far to tell anything from here. Yeah, let's go back to the camp. I sure am glad that it was you who came with me. I don't trust everyone that's here. I don't really know why you trust me, but okay, what do you mean? Well, like Garrett, for example. What did I really? do? He seems, he seems <laughs> like the nicest person in the group, honestly. Seriously, though. Yeah, he did. I heard I'm... he's been employed for over two years. I mean, if, if, if only he had the other guy's nose, he'd be perfect. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose it's probably better than being a barista. Nobody spends that much time alone in a basement without doing something villainous. I suppose. We should head back before it gets dark. Maybe he's a member of a evil guild in an uh, online role-playing game. 